We want to celebrate the collaboration that happens in this community because if it wasn't for the partnerships and the support that's been developed and created over the past year, we would be standing here with the 2010 Chamber of the Year Award. It's the um, concept that together we all win. And uh, when people feel that they're all working on something and we're all moving forward and we're all pulling in the same direction, I think that it's easy to, to get on board and, and get excited about something. It is such a fantastic community to live in. If a goal is put forward, people will get together to try and join to help people achieve that goal. And that's what this is all about. The Comox Valley Chamber was chosen from an exceptional field of 130 chambers from across the province. To be nominated and even to be made a finalist is a great honour. The actions of our community, past, present and future, will be looked at by communities across the province as they try to replicate the many good examples which we lay before them. The BC Chamber specifically recognized us for four main initiatives which we completed last year. First, with the support of the Comox Valley Regional District, we mobilized the community in our Bagless Comox Valley initiative last spring. How did we do it? It was the leaders, and more importantly, it was every single staff member, from stores like Canadian Tire, Home Depot, Thrifties, Brazen, and 84 other retailers that participated alongside of us that resulted in this resounding success. Secondly, we spent much of last summer, fall and winter gathering builders, planners and community leaders around the same table to discuss a regional growth strategy for the Comox Valley. Collectively, we asked for environmental protection explicitly to be written into the strategy in keeping with the Comox Valley Land Trust's Nature Without Borders vision. At the same time, we called for a creative regional growth strategy that encourages innovation and investment, not one that arbitrarily draws lines on a map and restricts growth. This is all about finding synergies, bringing people together in order to achieve something greater at the end of the, end of the rainbow. Third, we were recognized for our work with local governments to reduce the business tax multiplier. Finally, we forged a partnership with Tours in Mount Washington and eight of our chamber members. The lone athlete from Ghana, Kwame, affectionately known as the Slow Snow Leopard, had a dream to participate in the 2010 Olympics. This partnership worked together to bring both Kwame and his team to the Comox Valley to train. Local businesses pitched in. We branded vehicles, arranged public speaking engagements, and helped to coordinate media from around the world. Our community is vibrant, passionate about itself and its future, and is certain to grow in its many successes. Without each of us pulling in the same direction, we would not have been given this award. And so, we are thrilled to share this victory with each of the 65,000 men, women and children of the Comox Valley. Thank you very much.